pretty good about that. Oh God, yes. And he was I was and he had plenty of rest. Oh, I was sitting there watching him, you know, struggle for 35. They went well, 30 plus a five minute overtime. So I don't know. I was chilling back there, um, you know, drinking iced tea and watching him get tired, thinking I'm gonna crush. And he was little, he's only like thinking at the buffet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh, this is gonna be easy. Yeah, a, a lot of people that know Vov Chanchin remember the pride of Chanchin where he fought as a heavyweight and he carried extra weight. You right. had a sharp, ripped up 200 pound brutalizer. You you had him at his meanest. All right, so take us through the Vov Chanchin fight because I think I noticed something. I don't want to talk about it. I'm going to let you say it. And if not, I'm going to mention it. But there was some fishy sh- stuff in that bout. First off, like the corners were following the entire fight around. And it wasn't, it wasn't like Nutter's corner. It was Volchenchens. Like it was literally a group of guys, wherever Nick was on the mat, they were following him around. If Coleman was there, there would have been a fist fight. For sure, <laughs> there would have been a fist fight. Uh, so, so, so go ahead, Nick. Take us through the Volchenchen fight through your eyes. Okay. So what was cool at this point is, at this point, I had three cornermen. I had a uh, Zane, I had a uh, Joe and Joe Charles and Frederick Lapenda. <laughs> yes, so that you're collecting them. You're collecting corner yeah. along the way. No, <laughs> USA versus Russia at this point. Yep. However, there was probably seven Russians in their corner. Um, so the I don't know. I had no fear because I didn't know how good he was at the time. But I'm like, he's little. He's tired, and I went right across the cage. I ran him up against the cage. I slammed him and I just went into like, you know, um, round and pound. And, and I ended up pounding him uh, at like the four, four minute and 30 second mark. I ended up getting to his side back. You were allowed to do knees to the head. And I promise you, <clears throat> and I, I will show you the video, but I'm kneeing him to the head and he taps. He yes, taps. he did. Yes, he did. It, it, did you get off of him at that point? Is that why you got off? I stopped. I looked at yeah. the ref. I said, okay. He's like, look at it. And they, they had a communication in Russian um, that I couldn't understand, but I don't know what they said, but I, I assume it's, hey, listen, Igor, um, you're not done yet. You're supposed to win. <laughs> yeah. he, he, we here's the thing. Be, if Coleman was there, he would have went crazy, and that bout would have been case. stopped. I agree 100%. That's where yeah. I wish I had Coleman in my corner. You're yeah. Yeah. The one uh, time. The one uh, time you needed Coleman. The one time I need him. Other than that, he scares the hell out of me. Like, I, <laughs> so, so, Nick, why weren't you grabbing the cage at all? What do you mean? It appeared to be legal. So, like, put your hands in the cage and just kind of keep maintain your top position with a, with a grip on the cage wall. Why didn't I? Because yes. I, I think I had a better one with, I had my hand behind his neck and I'd be able to pull him into my knee as I need him. So essentially Nick is arm isolating and, and jumping up and hitting Igor with knees. And he hits him with like three or four times. I mean, while Igor's back is on the ground and Igor's pinned against the cage. Like it's, it's some serious, serious ground and pound. And then there's like, kind of like, a weird commotion where Nick gets off of him. Nick gets off of him. There's that conversation. And then the referee does not stop it. And then Nick, you had to earn another takedown. It was not easy, but you got it. So go ahead. Uh, so let me, let me backtrack a little bit here. Okay. I was telling you after uh, Joe said, I'm done. And uh, I didn't hit him again. Shame on me. I should have kept hitting him until the ref stopped it. However, Igor tapped. um, The ref grabbed me and said, okay, they had an exchange. I'm like, are we done? Like Coleman would have jumped the cage and been done. Um, Federico was not in that position. So we went again. I need him three, three or four more times. He tapped again and the ref stopped it again. So it was two stops. Yeah. Okay. At this point. But but I think that tap... That tap was on the blind side of the referee. Why yeah. stop it then? Why the ref well, stop well, it? I think that's why the referee didn't stop it. I think he did it to get you to stop. Yes. Okay, right there. Like Bobby the Brain Heenan in WWF, he's doing this. He's doing this. Yep. Yep. 
So a brilliant move, I might add, especially.